We're thrilled to be here for the swearing-in of our new Secretary of Veterans Affairs, a very, very tough and important position, Robert Wilkie. Robert, I want to congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Since day one, my administration has been focused on serving the men and women who make freedom possible, our great veterans. These heroes deserve only the best, and they will have it under Robert Wilkie. I have no doubt about it. I think the three of us have no doubt about it. Robert is joined today by his beloved wife of 28 years, Julie. Thank you, Julie. His son, Adam. His sister, Dana. Nephew, Ian. Sister-in-law, Carla Council. And his brother-in-law, Stephen Harmon. And his wife, Susan Harmon. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. We're proud of him, right? Anybody not proud? Because let me know now, please. <laughs> Robert Wilkie is the proud son of an Army veteran, an artillery officer raised on the base at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. That's a great place. On his daily walk to high school with the woman who is now his wife, he passed by the Fayetteville VA Hospital, which bore the inscription, The Price of Freedom is Visible Here, made a big impact. It was a price Robert saw firsthand through his own father, who was gravely injured in combat during the Vietnam War. Robert went on to serve as an officer in both the Air Force and the Navy, then as Assistant Secretary of Defense for Legislative Affairs, and as Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness. Robert also serves with distinction as Acting Secretary of Veterans Affairs and General Mattis is here someplace. Where's General Mattis? He's the only one unhappy about this because I took him away from General Mattis, right? General Kelly, who, by the way, one year today, right, became Chief of Staff. General Kelly, John Kelly, in case anybody's never heard of him. <laughs> That's great. And General Mattis, I'm sorry to have done that, but we have no choice. The vets are calling, right? So thank you, General. As our new VA Secretary, I have absolute confidence that Robert will continue our historic progress on behalf of our nation's veterans. Last year, we passed the landmark VA Accountability Act. These two people, along with others, but these two people really led it along. And uh, they gave us, which really gave us the authority for the first time to remove federal employees who mistreat our veterans, of which, unfortunately and incredibly, there were plenty. They're gone now. I also signed legislation allowing veterans to use their GI Bill education benefits at any point during their lifetimes. We established the promised White House VA hotline, which we have working right now. Every VA medical center offers same-day emergency mental health care as well. We have greatly expanded telehealth and walk-in clinics, and we are processing veterans' disability claims more quickly, by far, than ever before. Earlier this year, with Robert's help, we passed Veterans' Choice. That was the one I wanted so badly, that we all wanted so badly. This has eluded us for 40 years, 50 years. I mean, it's eluded us forever, forever. If the veterans can't get care, and the kind of care that they need at a VA facility, they have the right to go immediately and see a private doctor. And we pay for it. And by doing that, we save, by the way, a lot of money. We take care of our veterans properly. So between accountability and the, uh, the VA choice, uh, look, accountability, they said, was tough to get approved. 45 years they tried, they couldn't. VA choice, they actually said, was tougher. And we got them both. So I just want to thank you guys, and Robert, thanks for your help. No veteran should ever have to endure long waiting times for the care they have so richly earned. So that's where VA Choice will come along. We will not rest until our veterans have the highest quality care anywhere on Earth. Secretary Wilkie, I want to congratulate you and congratulate you strongly. You're an outstanding man. Also a great football player, which nobody knows, but we won't discuss that, right? He was a good, tough player. I know that you'll work night and day to fulfill our sacred duty to protect those who protect us. Our vets are very, very lucky, and we are very lucky to have them. So, Robert, I want to uh, 
ask Vice President Pence to administer the oath. And this is something very dear to my heart and to all of our hearts. And you have to do a great job. We're just counting so many people. Hundreds of thousands of people are counting on you. It's a tough job, but a beautiful job. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.